What's up everybody, your boy Mustache Madness at it again with yet another guide and today we're going to be covering how to get your golden AK-47. Why? I love gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. That's right, Mr. Gold member, the texture. <laughs> so yeah guys, I decided to skip over the XM4 just because I freaking love the AK-47, and the tactics is going to be pretty much the same thing for all assault rifles. Uh, the only thing that kind of does suck is the progression on the weapons are heavily dependent on the time played. So you got to get up on there and get some time. And, you know, if you're going to be spending a lot of hours on this, um, oh, another good way to do it is by playing zombies. Yeah, zombies is just a fun way to level up your weaponry. Uh, I personally do it on private matches either in solo or with some buddies uh, It's a good way like I said to level up your weapon. Uh, the only cautionary uh, Thing I have to say about zombies is that your weapons do level up slower So it's nothing that I would try to do towards the end of your weapon uh, More more towards the just the beginning of leveling up your weapon and if you guys haven't checked out my other video I show you how to easily um X fill out and how to pack a punch your weapon so i'll leave that in the description down below moving right along guys i'm going to showcase you what i personally use on my ak-47 of course we're going to use the ak-47 for an optic i like to use the micro led it has a 1.5 magnification and it just man i just love the damn thing uh for the bear i'm going to use the 18.2 takedown uh it has 150 percent effective damage range and i want to really Make sure that when I use it and I pop you once, you're down. Uh, another thing that we're going to use is the infiltrator grip. You get it early on. It helps you with your movement, shooting, and aim walking speed. So that's a big plus right there. Even though it's just 5%, it's going to really, really help us out. Get those quick, you know, pickups and shoot these guys fast enough. And then, of course, we're going to move over to the speed tape, which is going to give us an increase again on aim down sight. And for final stock, we're going to use the first stock that we unlock and it's going to give us 20% aim walking speed. So that's what I personally use, guys, as, as well. For the secondary, it doesn't really matter. You can choose whatever you want. Of course, we're going to use stun grenades uh, just because it's going to be working on another challenge. Frags, frags are just awesome. They explode and they have a very big radius. And proximity mines is just going to help us get that extra kill every now and then. Now, for our perks, you want to be rocking out that paranoia. Uh, the paranoia helps you when people are looking at you or in your direction, or even when they start aiming at you, they will glow on the side that they're aiming at you. So it's very, very, very well good to use that. Uh, and then we're going to skip the second perk and go right into the third one, which we're going to be utilizing ghost as well as cold blood. And if you don't know how we do this, guys, I'm going to show you right now. We're going to use lawbreaker and lawbreaker allows you to equip any weapon class and rock two perks on the same genre. So with that being said, guys, we got to get into the challenges right here. We got spray, which is 300 eliminations with the AK-47. That's just going to come with completing the other uh, challenges. Like, for instance, your headshots. Uh, we're going to get 100 headshots with the AK-47. And the mode I tend to play, guys, me personally, is hardcore free-for-all. I know hardcore free-for-all, it seems like it's tough. But guys, trust me, don't knock it till you try it. It for me by far is the easiest way to get in these challenges complete it's nice and slow very quiet uh and, and one thing to note is the crouch guys the crouch is beast beast when it comes to hardcore free for all i mean they can't hear your steps the crouch i want to say it's about 70 between 75 to 85 percent of your actual normal walking speed it is phenomenal i, I remember we used to have to get perks for this and now it just comes right off the default uh like i said it hardcore free for all is just a slow pace quiet and crouching is just beast you can just see how many headshots i'm getting right here left and right now what you want to do on this mode uh if you never played it before it could be a little detrimental but if you what you want to do in this mode is don't don't run in the middle guys that's just going to get you shot in the back hands down every time uh you want to stay around the outskirts of the map and basically what you want to do is control an area. If you're in the northern quadrant, you want to control maybe from north to northeast to northwest. And, and the opposite goes around, right? If you go to the south, you want to control the south to southeast to southwest. But you don't want to be running through the middle. You don't want to be running all around. You just That's just you calling out to get shot in the back. Now, another mode we can use, guys, is hardcore kill confirm. Uh, but that requires you to 
play a little bit more campy if I'm gonna be honest uh, a little bit slower paced and you got to watch out for your teammates as well so that I'm gonna show you how I use hardcore kill confirm on a later clip and with that said guys we're gonna get back to these uh challenges the classic challenge here is five kills without dying 20 times that just comes with you trying to complete the headshot challenge and all the other challenges that are coming after this one so just continue to work your magic and you'll get those now bloodline is 50 long shot kills this one i'm going to tie in with another one that i will be talking about in the momentarily we're just going to go ahead and skip over bloodline to go ahead and tie that in with that next one now this one is flora flora is uh 75 enemies detected stunned or blinded that's why i'm carrying stun grenades uh, the field upgrades as well for multiplayer. So just as long as you're rocking UAV, aka the spy plane, and maybe a few uh, flash or stun grenades. Now science, this is the one that I wanted to tie in with the long range kills, guys. This was the one that you need to shoot and kill 50 enemies taking cover from you in multiplayer. And this is where hardcore kill confirm is going to come in. Now for the optics is the only thing I'm going to be changing to the actual arms, which is a three times. And that is going to give us that nice sight to be able to shoot these guys from a range and most likely behind cover. Now here we are in Armada, which to me is the best map to complete this challenge. Now there is one thing that I am going to change guys here. I'm going to go ahead and add the C4. I'm going to remove the uh, grenade and add the C4 just because I want to go ahead and use the C4 kind of, of a, as a telltale. You know, they, somebody's going to see it. They're going to want to shoot that C4 before they walk in. And, and, and it's just going to give them away. But here you can clearly see how I'm getting them long shot kills right off the bat. I'm not even having to run over there. Nowhere near them. Uh, and just this site is phenomenal for this. And, it, and you can see right here, as long as they keep running through that area, through that, through those windows, I'm just going to keep popping them left and right. And it just works really, really great on this one. Uh, obviously, eventually, when you do get your proximity mine, you want to set it up as well. So if somebody does come in, you could go ahead and take them out with that without even having to move towards them. But again, dude, this is, I mean, it's just, it's, I know it's very campy and I did mention this before. It's a little bit slower, but this is the easiest way to get those kills, guys. I mean, these guys just keep coming back for more time in and time again. Their spawn is just right behind those windows. And if you look if you look closely, you can actually link up the two windows, the front windows and the back windows, and see all the way to their spawn. So if they're not quick enough, sometimes you can just pop them at their spawn. So yeah, guys, this is how I be using Hardcore Kill Confirm to complete both challenges for the long range and the science. As you can see, you know, they're at a, they're at a long range distance and they're usually either behind a window, behind a crate, behind a barrel. It's very easy, very easy. You, you'll finish this in no time, just as long as you follow these tactics. And last but not least, we got Psychedelic, which is just get two or more kills rapidly. 25 times in multiplayer this guys is gonna give you the gold very easy i mean you've seen it before i've showcased it killing people multiple times one after another in short succession it's just gonna come with you trying to complete the other challenges such as long range headshots etc uh and that's gonna do it for this guide guys i, I hope you guys enjoyed it. and if you do please don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe down below for more content like this Again, this is your boy Mustache Menace, signing out. Peace. I'm gonna set your place on fire. Let's get higher.